I've got one that can see. Hey, I'm going to share a little bit of this video. This is uh, Rock Uncle Productions did it. I'll leave his link if you guys aren't subbed to him and want to check out some of his videos. He's a, he's a nice guy. I like him. But uh, I thought this was satire. He says, as far as you know are concerned, this is satire. But it's not satire. Satire, however you say that word. These are real people. This is an actual socialist convention. And uh, I did a little research, and I mean, it's out there. They have the whole speech. But uh, just watch a little bit of this. I want to add a couple of things. If you're standing up, could you please sit down and get into a seat so that we act so there aren't so many people moving around? And then, uh, one thing I've noticed in our society probably over the last, I don't know, probably 10 years, but there's a mental illness, and I don't know if it's demonic or what. I don't know if it's from all these pharmaceuticals. But it's, it's the woke, they call the people woke crowd. And these people are literally, it's mental illness. But, you know, with the whole genders and it's just, just watch a little bit of this. And then let me consult the people who are counting. So everyone who is not a counter, take a seat. Take a seat. Everyone. Everyone on the walls. Take a seat so that we can count. When there's so many people moving around, it's very difficult to count. Uh, quick point of privilege. Quick point of personal privilege. Um, guys. Quick point of personal privilege. <laughs> uh, first of all, James Jackson, Sacramento, he, him. I just want to say, can we please keep the chatter to a minimum? I'm one of the people who's very, very prone to sensory overload. There's a lot of whispering and chatter going on. Look at that guy in a red dress with the red hair. Man, this really is a Ronald McDonald clown show. It's making it very difficult for me to focus. Please, can we just, I know it's, we're all fresh and ready to go, but can we please just keep the chatter to a minimum? It's affecting my ability to focus. Thank you. Thank you, comrade. Okay, is there a speaker against Nate? They even call each other comrade. I mean, these people think that socialism is the answer when they don't understand that socialism, they're going to be ruled with an iron fist from people worse. Well, honestly, we are living in a, in a communist system. They just, what they're, what they're able to do is they're able to give us a, an illusion of freedom. They're able to keep the slaves thinking they're free. But these people, they want it to be, uh, they want to openly be slaves. Point of, chapter privilege, point of personal privilege. Yes. Please do not use gendered language to, to address everyone. Okay. Um, we have a lot of disabled comrades, and uh, a lot of those are invisible disabilities. Um, first of all, in this room, I see that no one's clapping for me. It could be because I'm not engaging, but it also is because everyone's doing this. And that's really important, because those loud bursts of noise, even though this is a noisy space, when we can do something... You know, in the real world... These people would not have a clue on how to survive. You know, they wouldn't have a clue on how to to basically build anything or to hunt anything or to defend themselves. I mean, they're they're literally like children. Like reducing that, that's reducing that. That's and that's what our overlords want. They want everybody fully dependent on the government. That's what they want. Really important. So please don't clap, shoot up these. Um, and, and additionally with the, um, the noise issue, like avoid hissing, avoid waving banners, right? You don't know what to do. Avoid hissing. Now I've heard these people, these people do hiss. 
It's freaking nuts, man. I was just like, you gotta be kidding me. Show up these, right? I'm sure there's lots of ways that we can communicate to each other without needing to rely on something uh, that's going to hurt somebody else. Um, we have quiet rooms that are available. There's a range of options of these, right? On seven, quiet there's rooms. one that has video but no sound. If you still want to be able to observe the convention, but the sound is an issue. There's also in Piedmont eight, a completely quiet room. One thing to note there, please don't go into that space with anything that's like an aggressive scent, for instance, right? Um, because that's going to be difficult for people. Don't talk to cops. Don't talk to MAGA assholes. All, we're almost there. Just uh, this, but thank you. Um, quick point of privilege once again. Quick point of privilege once again. Hi, James Jackson, Sacramento DSA, he, him. I have already asked people to be mindful of the chatter of their comrades who are sensitive to sensory overload. And that goes double for the heckling and the hissing. It is also triggering. These poor people just need a safe space, don't they? To my anxiety, like, the be comradely doesn't ju isn't just for, like, you know, How let's be civil or whatever. It's so that people aren't going to get triggered and so that it doesn't affect their performance as a delegate, okay? After that, we're going to uh, go through adopting the rules. So with that, uh, everyone, we're going to start voting. So let's take a deep breath. Great. Uh, and so I'm going to welcome Brian uh, to give the credentials report. Hi, everybody. Brian Laverne, he, him from Houston. And now we're going to move on to... You know, when I was I was a little kid, and I kind of grew up in church and Sunday school, Bible school, and all that stuff. I never really understood the scripture that said, "Love not the world, neither the things of the world." If you love the world, the love of the Father is not in you. I didn't really understand that when I was little, but now I get it a hundred percent. Do the uh, resolutions and a very brief. Committee? Very brief point of information. If you are using a microphone, talk into it directly like I am right now, and do not wave your face back and forth because people cannot hear you. That is all. Okay, awesome. Thank you for the pointers. Yes. Uh, could someone please run a mic to the comrade in the jean jacket, of which there are many? <laughs> I, um, I simply had a question. Sorry, could we? Thank you. Uh, we are debating the amendment to the committee report, and that amendment is to uh, swap uh, six of the del is to um, uh, the amendment is to take six different delegates from to recognize six different delegates from East Bay from what the committee report says. Great. Could you get to the mic, please? So point of clarification in that the chair gave a report. There was a verbal second from the audience on the report of which was given. And then there was a motion, motion for an amendment to yes. that. What are we actually talking about at this point? And then what is yes. the vote going to be? <laughs> Thank you. We need yes. to be very clear about uh, the work that we are trying to do. It is important. So in voting yes, are we voting to? Yes. Yeah. So voting yes. Uphold means... the delegates. No, 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 no. Um, so vote. So voting yes means that you want to you want the substitute six delegates to be seated instead of the delegate delegation that is outlined in the uh, credentials committee report. Thank you. Does that make sense? No. Right, so if, or, if you agree with what the report recommended, then you should, I'm just asking, I'm, I'm trying to understand what, what. Voting yes means that you are supporting the challenge to the East Bay delegation. Point of privilege. Mm -hmm. uh, can I reiterate that we, uh, for the sake of our comrades who have sensory issues, refrain from hissing, loudly shouting out your opinion on a vote, or waving banners and signs that reflect your vote in front of people? Yes. Thank There's hissing again. I'm telling you, if one of these people started hissing that was beside me, I'd probably have to punch him in the face for real Thank absolutely thank you okay so now um are there is there any further debate on the credentials committee report point uh hold on po point of order yep thank you so sorry what's your name and my your... name is trey uh i use they them and he him pronouns they them i'm from he. memphis 
Thank you for asking. Nice to meet you. Sorry. Nice to meet um, you. I had a question. Um, so, Nick? Jack? What is his name? Or what is his name? Nick J. They were elected as an at-large delegate before they resigned. Is that correct? No? Okay, then never mind. <laughs> Now, uh, we are going point, to... Point of information, could you please let us uh, know how many delegates there are? Anyone know that? Uh, hold on one second. Do you know that? Uh, I believe 1,057. Thank you. Hi, I am Andy P. Uh, from Los Angeles, they, them pronouns. Um, could I please ask the chair to, um, again, um, there was a previous point of privilege about waving around signs that it, it is distracting to other comrades. I have autism. This is distracting to me. Can I, I would like to ask our fellow delegates, please, to not wave around your signs, especially during voting. Thank you. Yes. Uh, please do not wave around. Please don't invade my safe space and give me anxiety. Around your signs. Thank you. Um, Madam Chair, at this point, we're waiting for the vote to be created. When it's ready, I'll let you know, and you, there will be a, a URL projected on the screen, and you will be able to put that in either to your phone, your laptop, or you can go use one of the iPads that we have ready. Uh, thank you, Chair. Nick, he, him, his from Twin Cities. Um, this is on behalf of a delegate who's currently in the remote room. They say that it is very hard to see the screens and cannot get a URL. Uh, Rebecca, are you ready to share what's going on? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that we've hit the Obavert server too hard, and I'm going to go call Jeff. A uh, point of information, then? Uh, yeah, I, yes. Okay, uh, I'm old school, folks, and it's probably some technical problem that we can't solve. So my point of information is, uh, is really a question. Is it possible that we do this the old-fashioned way and have the yeses on one side of the room and those on the other? Uh, Would that be possible for the... These people really need a savior. I mean, could you honestly imagine putting your faith in any of these clowns? Unreal. Dare to do. I would, strong, I would suggest not doing that because there's going to be a little bit too much motion. We're going to take a hand count right now. Uh, and hopefully this online voting system will work soon. Uh, when a counter has gone around and confirmed, like nodded at you or something. And the delegate who brought clickers. Uh, you can uh, lower your hand. But only when the person who's like counting has like verbally or uh, confirmed with their body language wow. that they've counted your Anyway, I'll leave his link. I appreciate that, Rock. I tell you, once you think this world can't get any crazier, just like Lord Jesus, please come. I'm going to add something on the end of this that uh, it didn't get a lot of views, but this is similar to this, just showing you how insane this clown world is we live in. Anyway, love you guys. Hope you all have a blessed day. Later. Biologically. Do males have an advantage over females biologically in sports? Again, I'm not a physician, and I, I can't speak to that. What's your real-world experience? Um, it depends. I mean, there are some people who are born male that I'm faster than if I were to sprint against them and some that I'm not. Some but males so that are taller than some that women and some that are shorter. You don't that a biological male has a physical advantage in sports over a biological female? Not as a, a definitive statement.
Ms. Robinson, do you agree with Ms. Gaines that there's a difference between women and men? Men. I'm just asking, is there a difference between women and men? I mean, what I can say here is that the NCAA has rules in place. They've had rules in place for the last decade, and when this competition okay, okay, happened, I'm, I'm try again. the rules were clear. Do you believe there's a difference between women and men? It, it's a yes-no question. It is, it, do you believe there's a difference? Oh, I think that we're talking about this case with the NCAA. No, I'm asking a question. Do you believe there's a difference between women and men? Most I, people could answer this very simply. I, I'm curious if you're willing to do so. Oh, absolutely. I'm just putting it into the context of is the that conversation yes? that we're having. I think that there are definitions related is, is, to sex. Is, is that a yes? Yeah, so I'm that trying to get a yes or no. I'm not trying to get, get a speech. But let your communication be yay, yay, nay, nay. For whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. For whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. Oh, I, is I'm, there a difference between women and men? I think that there are definitions for biological sex. Okay, so you're not answering that. Let gender. me ask you this question then. Why do women's sports exist? If you can't define a difference between women and men, why not abolish women's sports and just tell little girls to swim with little boys and see who wins? Oh, I'm simply saying that um, that sex is My different question, than gender. Why and I do, do believe why that women's, do women's sports, sports have a great exist? value. I mean, Senator, I'll M tell you M right Ms. now. Ms. Robinson, please answer the question I'm asking you. Absolutely. Why do women's sports exist? I think that there are so many positive benefits to sports. But I mean, why have a separate about category about for women? If, if, you, if there's no difference between women and men, why to have women's sports? I'm saying that there's a difference between sex and gender and that the NCAA has rules in place, which they have for the so last Mr. decade. Mr. Chairman, I, I would like to enter in the record an, an article from Duke, Duke Law called Comparing Athletic Performances for the Best Elite Women to Boys and Men. And it goes through examining in 2017 the top records for women in the world in various track and field events. So, for example, in the 100 meter, the top record for women in the world was 10.71 seconds. Now, that record for the number one woman in the world in 2017 was in the year 2017 broken by 124 boys under 18. In that same year, the record for the number one competing woman in, in, in the 100 yard 100 meter dash in the world was broken by a total of 2,474 men. If the radical Democrat agenda to destroy girls' sports and women's sports succeeds, little girls will not have a chance to compete. So I ask unanimous consent that this article be entered into the record. Um, Mr. Robinson, I, I, I want to follow up by trying to understand your answer to one of Senator Cruz's questions. And it, this is really a question, not a suggestion. Do I understand your position to be that there are two sexes, but there can be more than two genders? Um, I wouldn't even say two. And, you know, we've got Dr. Lopez here as well, but there's also the definition of intersex. I think that often these conversations were conflating sex and gender. And I do want to affirm here that trans women are, are women. That is their gender. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. In the year 2025 If man is still alive If woman can survive They may find In the year 2026 All the dudes gonna look like chicks everything you think do and say will be censored in the united states in the year 2027 won't need a wife won't need no husband to make your son and your daughter too in the bottom of a long glass tube oh They'll turn us all into slaves There's gonna be great tribulation Going on across the nation In the year 2029 If God's a
coming is gonna give us a sign Maybe he'll look around himself and say Guess it's time for the judgment day In the year 2030 God's gonna clean the world that's become so dirty He'll blow his trumpet and the dead shall be raised And we shall be Change.